Hello there, Aries. In the uh, monthly reading, I mentioned the message of, uh, you know, you, you have to be able to, you can't have it all by doing things in a fair and safe manner and also doing things in moderation. So the message regarding moderation and uh, taking things in strides, taking things in small doses, that message is coming back up for re-examination. So I feel that, you know, this is a, a pertinent message for many of you. Uh, what I feel happening is uh, a lot of you guys are very, very social creatures. You know, you thrive in a very um, dynamic environment and you need a lot of uh, interaction from a lot of people in order to feel, you know, like engage, in order to feel very emotionally fulfilled. And I feel what you have realized over time is that uh, you tolerate a lot of people and their quirks and... Um, you also tolerate people with differing opinions, with differing, you know, agendas. And so you can uh, be around them, but it, it's, it's sort of like telling you to take people in strides, take people with a grain of salt, and learn to take people in small doses so that you're not overwhelmed by them and you're not irritated, you know, in, by long-term exposure to them. So I feel like that's going to be very important for this month, okay? And especially for the next two weeks because... Um, it's still your birthday time, so I feel that you're going to have to learn to take things in strides and not, especially not take things to heart. Uh, what I feel happening is uh, a lot of you are dealing with an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. For some of you, this is a, a romantic partner, and for others, this is a family member. And I feel like, you know, under normal circumstances, there is this immense love and mutual respect that you have for one another because you're very stubborn they're very stubborn and so you have this mutual agreement that you know let's agree to disagree and things are harmonious for a short period of time and then um, you interact for a really long period of time and then conflicts start brewing between you and this other person and next thing you know uh, they say something that might be construed as, you know, offensive, and then you have your guard up, and then it, it escalates into conflict. And so you're going to have to, like, emotionally moderate yourself, and you're going to have to kind of uh, protect your energy around this person. So that means, you know, taking them in small doses, okay? Um, I just feel an element of two people who are very stubborn and who are very different minded. So like, you know, lack of compatibility innately. There's just a lack of compatibility. You would do thing one way and they would do thing another way. And you have to learn to agree to disagree. So you can't really, you know, have them influence you because you know that what you're doing is right. And they likewise don't want to be in influenced and interfere. So I feel like it's still an ongoing type of interaction that you have been trying to handle for quite some time. And it's a little bit challenging. Um, I feel like one person wants a lot more solitude and the other person wants to go out and about and, you know, mingle. And so trying to find an activity that both parties can enjoy um, it's a little, it has been a little bit difficult in the past. So this is an ongoing issue that I see here. But I do see a lot of love and a lot of mutual respect coming into the picture. For some of you that are uh, recently, um, you know, like have broken up and are single right now, like you have recently broken up within the past few months. I feel you are kind of uh, cocooning yourself, like sequestering yourself, um, trying to, you know, do things on your own. And I feel like finances and work are kind of like on the top of your radar, uh, meaning you've, um, you know, skipped a lot of outings, mainly to put in overtime at work. You skipped a lot of um, social gatherings as well so that you can wake up on time to go to work the next day. So I feel like you're being very, very responsible. And then uh, you're also burying yourself in work, either learning new procedures, learning new protocol, doing things um, methodically or under the mandates of somebody else. So I feel that you're making, you know, you're taking your work very seriously. You're taking your roles and your responsibilities very seriously. Some of you are learning a new skill. So I don't know if it's in school or like in a vocational setting. Uh, you're learning new skills to upgrade your um, to upgrade your your performance at work, or you're learning new skills to allow you to, um, you know, segue into or transition into a better work environment or a higher paying job. So you're, um, you're kind of sequ uh, sequestering yourself, like um, isolating yourself just to get the work situation under wraps and under control, which is really good. 
And um, I, I feel like if for those who have recently um, left a relationship, it seems to me like you have a kind of like a love-hate relationship with another person where you both are, I feel like, very stubborn. And they might have said some things that really hurt you on a very deep core level. And uh, I feel this sense of defensiveness between you and that other person that you have recently broken up with, where they were really blunt with the truth and it really cuts you deep. And then in retaliation, I feel like some of you might have given them a dose of the truth as well, a dose of reality, and it really cuts them deep. And, and it feels to me as if the relationship is over because too much has been said. And so you're trying to move on ahead and forge a new path for yourself and trying to, you know, um, it, it's sort of like learning from trial and error. And in the next relationship, you want to still be honest, but you don't want to be abrasive. You don't want to be hurtful. And I feel almost as if that relationship need to, needed to happen so that you can understand how to dish out the truth without it being... Um, being too abrasive or too hurtful. So I feel like you're curbing back when it comes to uh, your sense of, you know, does this need to be said in exactly this way or can I soften it a little bit? So I, I feel like you're coming into your own, learning to soften the message, learning to, um, I, I guess, like dish out the truth without bruising somebody else's ego. So I feel like that was a very meaningful lesson that was uh, gleaned from that previous relationship that recently broke off, okay? Um, what I see here is um, I do see some solid uh, friendships being rekindled. Um, either, you know, you've been busy, they've been busy, and then both parties are coming back together. And there's a lot of social outings happening. So I feel like it might be birthday uh, related for some of you. I also feel a lot of soulful, like heart to heart conversations that you are having with friends. I see a lot of friendships um, coming in, maybe because... Um, you're at the tail end of a relationship like recently or new friendships being forged here and I feel like re a lot of reconnecting with old friends reconnecting with people that you have been estranged from a, for a while now so I feel like a lot of it might have to do with the fact that you know they're they're really urging you to take people in small doses so that you don't you don't overdose on you know too much together time and then the conflicts start brewing so they say to get out of there and keep your distance a little bit as soon as the conflict happens so that you can maintain that friendship without you know saying without like having too much said okay so I feel like you know you're taking a step back you're doing things in moderation finances looks very good and I do feel like um a few of you uh, promotions, opportunities for promotions, opportunities for pay increase coming through. So we have some solid good things coming through. And I, I also feel like the main message, once again, small doses, moderation, okay, so that you don't burn out. And you also don't like get irritated by the other people that you're dealing with if you're dealing with them for long periods of time, and their character flaws start to show, okay. So just be careful about that. Um, I also want to wish you guys a very happy uh, birthday for this month and enjoy yourself and take care and stay safe. All right. Take care, uh, Aries. Bye-bye.